crude and short-termist. That's the verdict of Lord Mandelson on the plans for a so-called mansion tax, and he couldn't be more correct. It's crude because it takes no account of individual circumstances. As Mylene Class, the singer, rightly pointed out, it's the equivalent of merely pointing at an object and taxing it. A couple living in a 1.9 million house in Yorkshire or the Cotswolds, with a property empire of thousands of buy-to-let homes, wouldn't pay a penny. While a widow living off meagre savings in Hammersmith or Hampstead could end up paying through the nose. And it's short-termist because, as Alex Wilde, my colleague here at the Taxpayers Alliance, pointed out in the Times just the other week, once a so-called mansion tax is on the books, it will soon become a homes tax. Just like income tax, just like stamp duty, indeed just like inheritance tax. It's inevitable that the thresholds would slip down and clobber, that's Lord Mandelson's word, more and more people over time. Most taxes are introduced for the rich, just like the mansion tax, but they rarely stay that way. If you want to talk about a cost of living crisis, you have to start by discussing the tax burden, and a homes tax would only make that worse.